All right, we're back to uh, welcome another guest and show to the AZSE Network. Got Miles with me. How's it going, Miles? Doing well, doing well. How are you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Tell uh, everyone a little bit about yourself. Right. Okay. So my name is Miles Mensa. I am a recent graduate from Hofstra University. Actually, I was a student athlete. Uh, I played baseball. I played there for four years, huge baseball fan. Um, and I started a podcast after graduation. Um, we were in the middle of, of the pandemic quarantine and I've, I've loved podcasts, you know, for a couple of years. And it was always one of my goals to make a podcast. So I started a podcast in a, uh, about June, the beginning of June. And uh, it's been going well ever since. Um, I'm from the Maryland, DC, Maryland area, a uh, huge Nationals fan. And yeah, that's, that's, that's me. So what's the name of the show called? The show is called Student Athlete Combo. Um, when I wanted to make a podcast, I listen to podcasts of different, you know, um, different topics, different variants and everything. And I wanted something that I can give like good insight, good information on. Um, I just graduated as a student athlete. So, you know, last four years have, have being a student athlete has been my life. And I feel like there was a lot of information that I could get out to a lot of people um, in the athletics world um, that was interesting and also helpful. So I, it's student athlete combo, which is basically um, used as a resource for current or, you know, aspiring student athletes, parents, coaches, um, and, you know, all ages of sports. Well, and it's, uh, it's definitely a great thing because, I mean, when you go from high school to college athletics, I mean, it's a, it's a whole new ball game. I mean, it's like having a full-time job. So making that transition and, you know, when you got into it, did you have any clue kind of what you were getting into, you know, when you went from high school to college? You know what? I thought I did, but I didn't, <laughs> but I didn't. And that's, that's basically like a, a big reason of why I'm starting the podcast. I think that a lot of high school kids um, who want to play sports in college, a lot of parents, um, you know, who have athletes who are uh, striving to play in college, a lot of coaches who um, maybe are new on the scene or maybe just haven't really got to the age of, of coaching kids who have aspirations of playing in college. Um, it's an awesome resource for, for them to use to help their athletes um, progress to the next level and play at a higher level. Yeah. What was kind of the biggest, you know, kind of shock or adjustment for you, you know, when you started your college career? When I started my college career, there were two things. Um, you, you said it was a full-time job. It's absolutely a full-time job. Um, <laughs> The, the time management was tough in high school. Um, you know, in high school, the homework, like you have tests, you have homework, but it's, you can, everyone gets through it. You can get through it. College is different. You have to have a routine. You have to have a, like, you have to have a set schedule um, to get everything you needed, need to do done and to be successful in your sport and in the classroom. Along with that, um, every, I played at a, at a division one school. I'd assume everyone who played, who comes from um, high school to college, whatever sport they're playing, they think they were the best player on their team or one of the best players on the team. And that's why they get to play at the college level. I thought I was, was going to be the best player going in. I wasn't. Um, <laughs> bottom of the totem pole again. And that's a kind of a mindset thing that um, kids need to, to learn when, when they get into college. So first thing is, you know, time management, having a routine. And then second thing is um, the work starts, you know, you have to work harder and the work starts over again, basically, and you get into college. And you still have to do your schoolwork, right? Absolutely, yes. I had a friend of mine, he, he was a quarterback and uh, played D1 and then played in the NFL. He's got a Super Bowl ring. He was telling me his first year, he, he didn't think he had to do work. He's like, I'm the quarterback. I'm D1. <laughs> so he started failing his classes because he wasn't showing up or doing that stuff. And, you know, I mean, he was, uh, he was big time. So, uh I always thought that was funny. It's like, dude, you gotta, you still gotta do your stuff, you know? Yeah. So. Um, you do have to do it. It doesn't matter who you are at the end of the day, you know, you're going for education, you're a student athlete and, um, athletics is almost how you got there, but, um, education is going to be more valuable in the long run. So, and a lot of athletes don't really realize that, um, until later on their later on in their career and they might have to play catch up or they might have to, you know, do some other things to, to get back on track. But, yeah. So how often are you releasing your show? I release every Monday and Thursday. Okay. Uh, 
my podcast usually or the episodes usually come out um by noon like i i try to launch between 10 30 and noon uh every monday and thursday and then do you typically have guests on the show or is it just you so it, it's a hybrid um okay for the most part i would say 70 30 is um guests and then me usually i bring on i'll bring on current student athletes i'll bring on former student athletes i'll bring on professional athletes who were college athletes um to kind of get a perspective from everybody's point of view i've brought in people who um work in college athletics who work at universities who are in the youth sports world um who do things with kids like recruiting wise and i also have um solo podcasts solo episodes excuse me where um i'll talk about some informational things i'll talk about my experiences um some stories i have and a lot of uh, information and insight i can give and then along with my solo podcast, I'll do interviews, I'll bring guests on, and they'll talk about their experiences um, at the pro level, at the college level, and um, just dealing with athletes in general. Are you doing anything as far as, I know it's maybe more geared towards um, student athletes, but anything like, you know, like post-career type, like, um, you know, you get done uh, going to college, you're not going to be playing in the pros um, kind of transitioning into the real world, anything like that? Or is it going to be mainly during those college years? That's funny you say that because, you know, that um, that state of time that you just mentioned is me. Um, yeah, no, exactly. That's <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I am I'm working on um, doing doing that, you know, that that time after after school, after college or maybe after um, a little bit of professional athletics where, you know, you kind of got to get into the real world and and find your, your um, niche and where you want to work and everything. So I'm, I'm working on some episodes um, with some people who have a lot of expertise in that. And then people who have been there, um, you know, a couple of years older than me, maybe they're four or five years out of college, maybe out of, of, of professional sports and, and they're working on uh, finding their niche in, in, um, in the working world. I, ha I have a couple of episodes where I talk about my experience. I have how I just graduated and um, what was in store for me um, before the pandemic had hit. So that's um, one of my earliest episodes talking about, you know, like the life after sports, but I, I'm definitely working on episodes and getting some inf information out to my listeners about life after sports. And then how long are your episodes typically? They're usually 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and my longest episode has been 34 minutes, but usually with, um, with my guests, I do, it's probably like 20 to 30 minutes, usually around 24, 25. And then, my solo podcasts range from about um, 13 to 17 minutes. Okay, nice. Well, a good thing is too, you know, you're, you know, on all the platforms, you know, as well, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeart, um, a ton of them. And then we'll have it up on uh, the network. We'll have uh, YouTube up as well. Uh, how will people find you now? Like what's your, um, um, if you have any social media or anything else? Right. I'm on, I'm on Twitter and Instagram okay. um, at underscore S a combo underscore. And on um, both of those platforms, you can find, you follow me, you'll find out when, you know, the newest episodes are launched. Um, I'll give insight like on past episodes. Um, a lot of college athletes, pro athletes, if they're playing in season and, you know, they have highlights or they have film and stuff like that, you can see me tagging them and, and um, um, giving some insight about the interview and, and, posting the link to the interview too. So basically on those platforms, you can see, you know, past interviews, um, when the next interviews are coming out and um, really just about the life of the athletes that I've, all, that I've already interviewed. Yeah. Well, and you'll also be able to, you know, find Miles show at azsenetwork.com. Um, the latest shows will always be on there as well. And uh, on the AZSE network uh, YouTube channel. So, Excited to have you part of the uh, the network, Miles, and uh, looking forward to, to catching your show. Thank you so much. I'm excited as well.